welcome back lovers of freedom all over the world my good people you are most welcome indeed we have crossed the ruby coin you know going back based on what we have gathered so far court grants a canoe leave to serve processes on federal government already news in details Abia State High Court Umahia has granted leave to the indigenous people of Biafra leader Mazi Namdekano to serve the federal government and seven other respondent processes in a fundamental right enforcement application he filed, Minister Justice K.C. Ukureke. The suit marked HIH slash FR 14 2021, which was filed on Kano's behalf by his special counsel, Aloy Ejumafo. Ejumafo filed the action through a motion export pursuit on other three, four, and five rules of the Fundamental Right Enforcement Procedures Rule 2009. Respondent in the suit are the federal government, Attorney General of the Federation, Chief of Army Staff, Brigada Commander, 14 Brigada Nigerian Army, Ahafia, Abia State Inspector General of Police, IGP, Commissioner of Police, Abia State, Director General, State Security Service, and Abia State Director, State Security Services. Ejimako told the Guardian that the, the material issue in the matter was the unbroken chain of uh, infringement that began with the 2017 extrajudicial attempt on Kano's life in Abia State. His voluntary fight to safety and sell, his, his adoption in Kenya and his uh, extraordinary rendition to Nigeria. Alright, he made this known as he said that this is preventing issues that have uh, complicated Kano's uh, prosecution and thus must be judiciary dispensed with before any further prosecutional or prosecutorial action can proceed. He urged the court to declare that the military invasion of the applicant building and premises at uh, Isiyama, Aforuku, Ebuku Umwahia on September 10, 2017, by the respondent or their agent is illegal, unlawful, unconstitutional, and amount to infringement of the applicant's fundamental right to life, dignity of his person. This and his personal liberty and fair hearing as granted under the pertinent provisions of chapter 5 of the 1999 constitution and also chapter 4 of the 1999 constitution of nigeria and the african charter on human and people's rights ratification and enforcement act he also wants the court to declare that the arrest of Kano in kenya by the respondent or their agent without due process of law is arbitrary, unconstitutional, and amounts to infringement of the applicant's fundamental right against arbitrary arrest to his personal liberty and to fair hearing as he unreached and granted under the Constitution. He also said that the torture and the detention of the applicant in Kenya by the respondent or their agent is illegal, unconstitutional, and amounts to infringement of his fundamental right against torture and to fair hearing as granted under the Constitution. A declaration as also he made that the expulsion of the applicant from Kenya to Nigeria by the respondent or their agent or their conse consequent detention and the planned prosecution of the application in charge number FSC slash ABJCR 383-2015 Federal Republic of Nigeria 5 Namdi Kano is illegal unconstitutional and amount to infringement of his fundamental right against unlawful expulsion 
and the things you're not to fair hearing as granted under the constitution he prayed Ejimako constitutionally and they consequently prayed the the court to make some orders namely to restrain the respondent or their agent from taking any further step in the prosecution of the applicant in charge number fhc slash abj slash cr slash 383 slash 2015 he also urged the court to compel the respondent on the agent to release the applicant from detention and restore his liberty which should be this uh, state of being as of uh, june 9 2021 and to send him to his uh, country of uh, the missile to await the outcome of any formal request for his lawful extradition to nigeria he also prayed the court to compel the respondent to issue an official letter to apology to the applicant for the infringement of his fundamental right and publish it in three national dailies all right the applicant also played for an other compelling the respondent to jointly and severally pay the sum of five billion naira to him being monetary damaged for the physical mental emotional psychological and other damages he suffered as a result of the infringement of his fundamental right justice sukereke who is a, a vacation judge while ordering that the applicant put all the respondent in on note 5th september 21st 2021 at the returns date for the motion on justice or notice to be heard he wrote that uh, the applicant should serve the respondent all the court processes through substituted services however right, the truth of the whole matter is that uh, justice okoroke who is a, a vacation judge why ordering that uh, the applicant uh, put all the respondent on notice and that has been on two days and uh, officially court grants a can leave to serve processes on federal government seven orders and based on what we have been seeing people are really talking their mind out like judge Wezi. Chukukika Biyama is the only true judge whatsoever he concluded it final. God Almighty has granted the genuine IPOB victory. All right, thank you very much, Mr. George Wazy. All right, let me have more of your take from here. As Obuna John, Obunaya John said, we have crossed the the Rubicon. No going back with this uh, place because we must leave this country for the for the leaders who are in Nigeria with their people all right thank you very much this is a part of your comment please do well to subscribe and send in your take for more update thank you and god bless you